Hello, my name is Miriam Arevalo. I come in from Cali, Colombia. Uh, I belong to the Universidad del Valle. I am uh, also uh, the scientific director of the Caucaseco Research Center, which is an excellent center for malaria research sponsored by NIH. First of all, because I belong so for an endemic uh, country, uh, Colombia uh, uh, is uh, one of, of the countries that account by, by the major number of malaria cases in Latin America. So with Brazil, is uh, almost 50% uh, of the malaria cases. So uh, my main interest in malaria is because I, I'm coming from Cali, which is near to the Pacific Coast, which is an, um, one of the most endemic area in Colombia. I think that the one important point is that uh, recently, uh, all uh, funding agencies has tried to make networks uh, with different groups uh, from endemic area and from industrialized countries. And, and, and I think that it was a very good idea because uh, part of the project, part of the, of the program is not only to send samples to, to other countries, to industrialized countries, but also to bring technology to our countries. Um, and also uh, having this program, I think that was an excellent platform uh, for being involved in, in this program here in Atlanta. I think that uh, in, in, in malaria is in an infection diseases. Uh, of course, there are many other diseases that could be uh, also taken into account, not only malaria. But as I explained before, being malaria, one of the major problems uh, uh, around the world is a health problem that has, uh, has an important impa impact uh, in the whole population, so that's why we are mainly interested on interested in it. And also because uh, Cali is a place uh, in which there is non-malaria transmission, and we have all facilities uh, to do research, and to uh, particularly in pre infection. There are two things that are very important for maybe for, for this program. One is that we have uh, uh, facilities like uh, a monkey colony uh, with uh, Aorus monkeys, which is one of the most susceptible um, animal model for malaria studies in both Falciparum and Avivas. And secondly, that we, ha we are, have the facilities to get samples that could be studied here in this, in the high-tech technology that we, we, have not, we are not able to have in our countries. So, Having all these very important groups involved in this program, uh, that will, I think that is a, a very great potential for, for development and uh, not only in, in understanding what happened with the, with the disease, but also in technology transfer. The most uh, um, clear impact is in understanding the disease and also uh, giving some support to the government and to give advice them about what, what is going on. I mean, w working on malaria vaccine, it has been for a very long time, but we understand now that we must know the biology of the parasite. And, and this is that this program gave us. I, I think that maybe is the real platform in which it, Putting together many groups, we can understand better the biology of, 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 the, of the parasite and also working with the groups that are modeling different uh, uh, effects of the malaria and the, and the interaction be, be, between the parasite and host uh, that cannot be done in the lab will help and give us like ideas or, or advice of how to do or how to deal with the disease and probably some clues about to develop a better malaria vaccine. I think that uh, W. Shaw and, and, and Bill and Melinda Gates have uh, made a big effort in trying to identify countries around the world in which malaria could be eliminated. And we see that uh, Latin America could be one of the target uh, countries. So as I mentioned, we have one of the Latin American uh, International Center for Malaria Research that is covering uh, countries from um, Central America like Guatemala, uh, Panama, and in South America, Colombia, Peru, 
Uh, also, we want to involve Ecuador and in the, in the future other countries in Central America. So uh, other programs like the, the global funds had uh, in, the, in the past uh, give a very good amount of, of, of money uh, by insecticide bed nets that, that have reduced a lot the number of cases of malaria. So in, in, together with this new project, uh, this one of the isomers, as well as, as the Mavic, could immediately give an impact on identify those, those countries in which we can elimi eliminate malaria, like uh, El Salvador or like uh, Panama, and in some places in Colombia as well, even if the number of malaria cases is higher than the other ones. I think that uh, my, my personal goal is to be in a very closer uh, uh, contact with with the group that is involved in this in this project. Uh, this is this is really exciting. Really, I mean, for us coming from Latin America, coming from uh, uh, countries in which we don't have uh, too many facilities and um, sharing information, or or not only uh, in terms of sending samples or doing some kind of research, but also in terms of of uh, discussion uh, in which we can, um, at least in my case, uh, to have directly with the group will be one of, 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 the, of the main goals that I want in this project.